Okay, so let's go through this energy. I am really happy to get the Page of Cups and the Lovers. And, you know, we're starting the beginning of the month with the Judgment card, which indicates to me you are starting this month with a clean slate. Everything that happened before, all that baggage, all that emotional turmoil, all the failed relationships, disappointment, whatever it was, is definitely uh, wiped clean for this month. So you're starting with a, bl um, a blank slate, okay? And try to make the most of it. The energy can go either way, and it, it is all about choices. It's all about how you want to um, manipulate this new energy, this new steady stream of um, power that's coming through for you. So you really want to redirect your life in the direction that you want. And it can be if you want to focus it on money, if you want to focus it on love, if you want to date casually, or if you want something a little bit more serious. So I do feel that whatever it is, you definitely have the power to manifest the things that you want. So it's a clean slate type of month. So use it to your discretion, okay? Whatever you're conjuring up, it is definitely going to um, come into the picture and it's going to figure prominently in the energy that is portrayed for this month. So I hope that makes sense. So let's break this down. First of all, um, I'm going to read the, the energies as you. I do feel at the same time that um, the first thing coming through is the Judgment card. Underneath that is the Queen of Wands in the reverse position. So now the Queen of Wands, I traditionally read that as a family member, especially like a female mother figure or somebody that is of um, whatever your biological age is. There is a significant female figure in your life, usually as a mother figure or of like a mother bearing age of of that you know in that i guess uh age bracket there might be some diagnosis regarding health issues and i do feel that it's not just you know feminine health issues it's definitely just health issues in general there might be some news regarding her uh, health status and it's got you a little bit rattled okay i do feel that this is somebody that is quite significant to you and um, she might need some financial help in order to deal with the situation. She's not going to ask you directly. And I do feel upon hearing this news, you're kind of like scrambling around for resources in order to help her. But um, she doesn't really want to detract or she doesn't want to, to be a big burden on you because this is a really good, kind, loving woman. She's fiercely independent. She's going to try to handle the situation on, on her own. So upon hearing this news, you might contact her and not get a response. And I do sense it's because she's still trying to figure out what's going on, how she's feeling. She's trying to process everything that happened because it came a little bit of a, as a shock. So as a result of it, I do feel that, you know, if you're trying to communicate with her and she seems like, um, she just doesn't seem receptive or she seems absent. It's because, you know, give her the time to process things, okay? Because I do sense there is definitely some diagnosis or some news, like a health scare or something like that happening within the home front or within your family unit regarding a strong female figure, okay? So that's the first thing. Um, I see you scrambling for resources because um, the way this looks is like um, this is all the, the jewels, all the things of value that we stored away for safekeeping. And now we're trying to bring it into, we're trying to liquidate. So I do feel that, you know, upon hearing this, you're scrambling and you're trying really, really hard to come up with the the money in order to help you know this family member and the family member understands your intentions and and whoever it is that's dealing with this health issue but they don't really want your help because they don't want to to be a burden on you okay if you have it to spare definitely step in and help because i do feel that um she is a little bit fearful and she Basically, she needs your emotional support and your whatever it is that you, you can lend her. But I do feel more than anything, she needs your emotional support. So don't uh, go scrambling around for financial resources. 
just being there, making sure that she's okay, that is definitely the first step that you should take, okay? Because I do feel, you know, it's sort of like financial considerations crowding out emotional support. And in this situation, the emotional support definitely needs to come first. And then financially, you both, you have a whole month to figure things out. And it's also Mercury in retrograde until the 8th. So you might want to delay the financial scrambling until the end of this month anyways, okay? So that's the first thing coming through. And I'm sorry that the message is a little bit somber. But um, we'll go through the good news for the rest of this month, okay? So that's going to apply for a few of you. And I do feel not for everybody because... Um, but it, it's coming in quite strongly. So this is something that you really want to keep in mind. For those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, especially a female fire sign... Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries okay and I'm sensing that it can be male or female I'm sensing that it can be male or female that might be going through like some kind of a health scare some kind of um, there might you know just it, it can be as simple as like a flu and thinking that you've got meningitis or something or it could be something a little bit more debilitating something that requires a little bit more follow-up and you know invasive procedures and things like that so let's not dwell on that because um medical issues is going to there, there's just a broad spectrum of possibilities across you know for medical issues so another energy that is coming in quite strongly here is um i do feel for this month there's definitely two suitors coming through for you and i do feel possibly one person that has been in your periphery and we've got a new person coming through there whoever it is that has been in your periphery they're finally finally stepping into the light they're moving forward and they're trying to move towards you to establish a love relationship with you okay it's showing up here as a page energy which can be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio and then there's another person that you just met, and I do feel by just meeting like a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay, so there's this water, fire type of uh, energy that is surrounding you, and the fire energy is very, very, it's, it's looking very good. I do like the, um, I, I sense that the fire energy is definitely something that you should go with, mainly because I do feel it is igniting your passion. The, the fire comes in on the heels of the lovers, which indicates to me something magnetic, something like, like fireworks, you know, it, it's something is being ignited. And whoever it was that you've been dealing with, um, who has been like floating around in your periphery, that relationship itself, you feel like you, you don't really trust it 100%. You don't feel that it's secure. You also don't feel that it has a sense of direction, okay? Or at least you don't feel that the other person has true, sincere intentions for you to establish a relationship with you. Once again, we are talking about a clean slate type of month. So you want to be very deliberate and methodical about the relationship partners that you want to start with this month because like i said it's a steady flow of energy don't waste it on people that don't have that that you you don't see in that you can't imagine being in your future few months down the line okay so be a little bit more methodical about who it is that you want to pursue i do feel though the fire sign looks a lot more stable and in the past, there might have been communication blockages with this fire sign. This could be somebody that's in your mist, like around September, August. It never came into fruition, or at least it never culminated in a relationship. But I do sense that with the other person kind of out of your life, this new person is given a chance to come in and fill in that spot, okay, of lover, work associate, uh, work partnership even, or at least whoever it is that is very, very emotionally soothing for you. And also, like, um, there's definitely a great deal of physical attraction coming through, okay? So, f for the first two weeks of the month, I do sense there's definitely a decision that you're going to have to make. And you're going to have to make a major choice between two love partners. I also feel that, you know, because we're looking at 
the seven of cups in the reverse position choices are dwindling and you have to face this head on and you have to make a decision so i do feel that in the past things might have been you know fun and games with this water sign potentially with this new energy who is very enamored by you who is just um it could be somebody who's when i get these two cards together i usually think of like a kid in a candy store and i also think of somebody who is you know potentially eye candy but they don't really have enough substance they don't really have enough life experience because it's a page energy in order to fulfill you long term so it's sort of like you're operating from different wavelengths so you know by next year you would be here and they'll be one step up the ladder but you know they're always perpetually behind you in life experiences in whatever it is that they have to offer that you can't really see a long term you can't really bank on their presence in your life okay so that's the first thing at the same time there is another person coming through that has been through a lot that has it's well traveled possibly different you know I, i'm getting a lot of like um interracial dating and i'm i'm getting that it's exciting it, it's really really um physically this person is just very appealing to look at as well so I, i'm still getting that you know eye candy but this person has substance so either way there's going to be a lot of physical attraction coming through um, the only thing that worries me on the romantic front is we do, do have the lovers on top of the gossip card like this and it indicates to me choices were dwindling you went with what your heart told you and this person is everything you thought they would be and then that little um, that, that little voice in your head is telling you you know that that self-doubt that always creeps in at the beginning of new relationships when you're just like why are they really with me are they sincere trust it they are sincere i feel like you really have to trust your gut on this because you chose them for a reason but that self-doubt that nagging self-doubt like if you text them and they don't call you back immediately or if um you text them and it takes them like you know two three days for them to respond i do feel as a fire sign they are they actually have a lot on their plate and that's why they're not responding in a timely manner so don't cycle through worst case scenarios don't believe the gossips that you hear and especially don't freak out when you know someone doesn't respond to you immediately and you're thinking to yourself worst case scenario oh they're probably dating somebody else i i feel that they're not so trust your gut that you made the right choice because i do feel that you are being steered in the right way so whatever um they're also of a different element and i know that you know earth signs you Taurus, and capricorn virgos are very very patient but for some reason this person has lit something in you and the insecurity is starting to creep out like potentially picking fights and also you know just uh, sitting there wondering like instead of going out with your girlfriends or going out with the boy, the the guys and having a, a really good time celebrating especially towards the end of this month because we do have you know the um we do have halloween you're kind of um putting your plans on hold i feel like life is stalling because you carved out that time to spend with that person and you've been contacting them and they're not responding and i feel that they will respond they will come and meet you halfway okay because when you look at the lovers it is two people in great harmony in sync with one another so they're both reaching out their hands and i do feel they are being divinely protected and divinely brought together by a greater power outside of themselves so if you've carved out that time thinking that okay the other person has to spend halloween with me you know we just started dating it's our first you know outing together for example so you're sitting by the phone waiting waiting for them to contact you and i do feel they are going to follow through you just have to let the self-doubt subside okay that would be the best advice so don't overthink it you made the right choice whoever you chose to go with i do feel that by you know the the 11th the 12th of this month you're going to realize that you made the right choice and then plans can move forward for you both now in terms of um in terms of work and romance well romance excuse me in terms of work and finances 
I do feel there is definitely, if you're hosting a party, by the way, I do sense there is going to be a little bit of a financial drain, mainly because, you know, you're providing everything. So, you know, that's just the nature of hosting in general. If your girlfriends or your friends or your friends, neighbors or family members are asking you, is there anything that we can do to help? Delegate, okay? Delegate and let them know that I want you, you know, to, to swing by the grocery store. And if you can, you know, kindly pick this up for me, I need paper cups, I need forks and spoons and things like that. Um, just give them, you know, like a few items. I do feel that the only thing here is that they might overstep their boundaries and they might like, you know, crowd you in the kitchen trying to prepare things that you didn't ask. So they're going above and beyond trying to accommodate you, I, I sense, which is always a good thing. But if you don't want that, then, you know, let them know, okay? Because I, I do feel like three is a crowd. I, I do feel like crowding energy, possibly, um, the escalation of conflict, it's in the reverse position here. So I don't sense that it's anything detrimental. It's just like friendly competition, jostling, but it can be mitigated if you just stayed up front. Okay, everyone out of my kitchen, I, I, I need to prepare, you know, um, a party for 50 people I'm short on time. So I really need you out of my space. They'll be respectful, but if you need them, I feel like they're they're coming around in order to help you, okay? So it, it's not looking too bad. Um, another major thing I'm sensing here is for a lot of you, you might have met this person on the work front, okay? Like the new love interest. There might be, I, I feel like it might be somebody who's like a consultant. They come in and out of the your work environment. And because of it, a lot of people are interested in them because it, it's sort of like, it can be male or female, this fire sign, okay? Or it just can be somebody who is, who is potentially like of a different ethnicity. And they're very exotic and they're, they're kicking up quite a bit of, um, buzz in the office. So everyone is just like, who is this mysterious person that's like constantly in and out of our office? And um, because of it, they might, if you're dating this person who's constantly in and out of the office, there might be some gossip on the office front, on the work front. Don't pay any attention to it. Don't get defensive because then, you know, you, you, you just like uh, uh, firm up and then it, it just confirms everything. So, so act natural, act, act normal. I don't sense any malice coming through for this month, okay? I don't sense anything bad coming through for you guys for this month. So I do feel whatever friendly competition, whatever um, gossip, rumors you hear, just let it lay it to rest because I do feel a very, very friendly, a very like congenial type of energy, free-flowing, and it's also very, um, it seems like a very passionate month. Okay, so all your energy, all your thoughts are going to be like directed this way. Everything else is like the blip on the radar. So honestly, the work situation, there might be a few stall communication on the work front. There might be like, uh, if you're, you're looking, if you're working in a contract, like on a contract basis, I do sense projects coming through. And it seems to me as if whoever is doing the hiring, they're trying to assemble a team. And they're trying to pick people for the team and you have to like, you're called in and you have to kind of like sell yourself to see whether or not they want you on the team in order to carry out this project. And I do feel the competition is quite fierce. So you really have to give that your all. I do sense like you're giving possibly a presentation or you're trying to sell your assets or you're trying to promote yourself or sell yourself, sell your skills in order for another person to uh, do either performance evaluation or for the other person to decide whether or not they want you on their team. So I see that happening the beginning of the month and then by the end of the month, they're going to make their choice. And when they make their choice, that's when the salary negotiation is going to happen. So I definitely feel potentially a new job coming through this new job. I do feel it is paying you a little bit below what you're expecting or what you feel that you're worth. You can definitely go back for round two to renegotiate your salary. And that's going to be more favorable for you because you really should negotiate your salary. 
I feel that you're worth a lot more. It can be a situation where you have a friend who, who recommends you to work for this company and your friend tells you, oh, um, a position that I'm doing is opening up. So it's like the same job description, j same job title. And then you find out from your friend that, you know, she's getting, she or he's potentially getting paid more and you're not upset, uh, you're not happy with it. So you go in for a pay negotiation or like a demanding a salary increase before you even go on that job interview. Do some research. Ask people how much it is that they're getting paid even if you want to. But I do feel that's going to be important for you to come into that negotiating table, to come into that work environment, knowing how much you're worth and knowing how much they need your services and your expertise so that you have bargaining power, okay? Because I do sense that it is going to play out very beautifully in the way that you'd hope. And then this situation, there's like, you know, negotiating back and forth, and then you're going to get the outcome that you want, okay? So it's going to be a very, very good month, um, Taurus. I do feel brand new energy, clean slate, okay? So use the best, use the, the month in order to manifest the right relationships, the right work environment, the right people in your life advocates or associates okay and also don't get so caught up with trying to scramble for financial resources spend time with ailing family members if you must carve out the time to do so okay um if i do feel that a lot of you um are going to be overtaxed mainly because people around you need you I do sense that it is a very other oriented type of month. It seems to me like it can potentially be very, very busy. The first three weeks, you're trying to balance, you know, relationships, work and family. And I do sense because of it, you really want to devote the time to the people who are important. Okay. Needless to say, that's just generic advice, but more so mainly because I do, I am getting a very strong message. Money might be coming might be leaving because of some health situation.